Now? Now. <laughs> hey everybody, Steve here. Cooking dinner again. I'm home in South Carolina. Windows still open, still sweltering because the air conditioner is still out. But I'm gonna cook. And what's better than a hot summer day than stand in front of my oven, right Bella? Right. So what are we having tonight for dinner? I don't know. You what don't are know? We Is having? it a surprise? For me. For you. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have some Cracker Barrel-ish uh, hash brown casserole. Super simple. This is a, my the producer, the Ravishing Mrs. Ritter, gave me this recipe and has coached me to make sure that I do this correctly. And uh, we've got hash brown casserole. And then I'm going to do a, a separate video to follow with Nathan's going to do some, some super easy hamburger steaks. And then I think, what are we watching tonight? I think we're going to watch Jeremiah Johnson. Yeah. Mountain man. It's <laughs> kind of what, is that the way you see me, Bella? Am I kind of a mountain man? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Well, come on over here. So we've got, I've got the, the cast iron going here. I'm just going to take a couple of tablespoons of butter, toss them in. Get it going. Probably ought to turn the fan on. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna just saute. Now, the recipe down below and the details is uh, uh, is for a single batch. Okay, I'm taking that and I'm doubling it because I've got a lot and Nathan eats a lot and Benjamin eats a lot. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and saute these onions. Now, this is a onion, right? An onion. And, no, it's a onion. And I'm going to just saute this around. I'm turn the heat down a little bit. And I'm just, I'm just looking to saute this for a little bit until it's clear. And then just a couple of minutes. And that's salted butter, so you don't need to really add any salt or anything like that. And uh, I'm going to saute these onions, the on uh, onion, we're going <laughs> to saute this. This so is one onion diced up, and we'll be right back. We're going to mix it up with the rest. All right, we're back. So the, the onions the onions sauteed. I got my oven preheated to 350, so sauteed the onion. So again. The recipe is for one sir, one uh, batch, and I'm doubling it, so this doubles up real nice. So uh, I've got so I, I, just to keep from confusing myself and everyone, I'm going to just tell you what I'm doing. But the single recipe is down below. So that's one onion sautéed. I've got two pounds of shredded simply potatoes hash browns. I'm going to cut this open, and it goes. How you doing, Bella? Pretty good. You all done with the uh, school year? Yeah, I was done um, beginning of May. Beginning of May. There yeah. You, you have a good year? I did. You did? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, I've got um, eight ounces of, of shredded uh, cheddar cheese. I add a little bit more. You can you can jazz it up with a little bit more cheese. I like it cheesy, extra, lots of cheese. Um, you just, you can add as much as you'd like. Um, until it's too much. Can you have too much cheese, Bella? Yes, you can. Okay, so this is eight <laughs> ounces of cheese plus probably another two ounces. So that's 10 ounces of cheese that goes in. Now I, I used the block cheese um, and shredded that because um, it doesn't have the uh, all the uh, anti I was gonna say anticoagulants, but that sounds nasty, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, it doesn't have the, uh, it has this, the coating on it to keep it from sticking, the, sh the pre-shredded. So you use the block cheese and shred it yourself and you don't have that. So, uh, but I do have a little bit of shredded cheese I added too to just kind of round it out. I've got 16, uh, 16 ounces of sour cream. That's going to go in as well. The whole thing. And then I've got... Also, I've got two cans of cream of chicken soup. Now, if you're gonna 
normally like the directions have you add cans of water not going to do that so just use the regular uh just the to empty the can in no salt no pepper just uh Add it all in, and we're gonna mix it together and pour it into a casserole dish and toss them in the oven 350 for about 40 to 45 minutes or until it's when you think it's done, right? Now, if you ask me, normally I'm pretty impatient, but you, you'll be able to tell. The cheese will be melted, it'll be all cooked together and all, so. We're just going to kind of mix this together until it's all mixed evenly and incorporated. Man, that already smells good. How can that be? Mm. It's pretty simple, don't you think, though? Yeah. Just want to make sure we don't have the get down to the bottom, make sure we get all the onions mixed in and everything. Looks mixed, doesn't it? Yeah. See any? Now I'm looking for like little pockets of cheese or onions or hash browns that aren't mixed in. That's kind of how I tell when it's all mixed together. It looks good to me. And then I'm gonna get a casserole dish that would be somewhere here. Daddy, it's the over there. Where? It's on the counter. Oh, there it is. That was my producer. <laughs> here we go. And in it goes to the casserole dish. Again, if it's just you cooking for two, you probably want to just make a single batch of this, but this is a double batch. And it goes, spread it around. <clears throat> What'd you think of the graduation at the Coast Guard Academy? Pretty cool. Now yours is coming up. Now you've got two years left. Are you finding yourself starting to think about graduation a little bit now? No. Getting I would hardly world. say that's coming up. Two years. Well, be faster than you think. Before you know it. Don't you think? Yeah. Now I'm going to just kind of spread this around a little bit evenly. Oh, this is going to be good. Don't you think? Yeah. It has the potential. That look all right? Enough cheese, shall I put some cheese on the top? I'm getting a nod from the my producer. So I've got so the triple cheddar, is that it? Yeah. So that's a triple cheddar. So now we can add, you see, you see the little, you see this getting close, you see the little flakes of cheese. And that's fine. There's a lot of cheese in this, but we want more because we like cheese. We want to just add a little bit of shredded cheese to the top of it. How much? About that much? What do you think, Bella? Mm, a little more. Well, she says a little bit more, okay. Well, what Bella wants, Bella gets. All right. How's that? Look good? Here, no. Oh, I need more there. All right, Earth. Okay. How's that? Looks good. Looks good. All right, in the oven it goes, 350 for about 45 minutes, and we'll be right back. All right, so the casserole has been in the oven. It was in 40 minutes at 350. Took a look. You and I agreed, Bella, it didn't quite look done enough, right? So come, so I'll put it in another 10 minutes. So here's what it looks like, okay? See, it's starting to bubble a little bit, and it's the, the cheese is melted nicely, uh, and it's... Uh, of course, it's a little thicker, so it's if you if you had it spread out more and it was thinner, it probably would be better. So 50 minutes at 350. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the oven and I'm going to turn the broiler on high, and then I'm going to watch it real close 
I'm going to brown the top. Okay. So uh, we'll be right back and see what it looks like. Okay. I'm going to keep a close eye on it. Watching it close, Bella. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. We'll be right back. We had it under the broiler for probably maybe five minutes. The big thing is you got to watch it close. Check it. So off with the broiler. And let's go take a look here, fella. I'm kind of excited. Ooh, smells good. Oh, and there it is. How's that look? Ooh. Hot. I'm going to put it out let it cool. And as it cools, it should shrink in a little bit from the sides, but... Uh, I'm thinking, man, that looks pretty good. What do you think? Yeah. So we'll let this cool down a little bit so I don't burn my mouth like I normally do. And we'll be right back we'll, for the big taste test. So ready? You want to taste it? And I'll film your reaction. Sure. Awesome. All right. We'll be right back. All right. Hash brown casserole. You're about to try it. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Let me know what you think. Oh, wow. Mm. That's pretty good. That's really good. Honestly, pretty good or really good? Really good. Better than Cracker Barrel. Really? Than, way better than Cracker Barrel. Oh, mm. that's good to know. Mm. Man. Awesome. That is rich. Mm. That is good. All right. Really good. Glad y'all liked it. All right. Uh, we'll see you, see you next time. More videos to come, right? Take care, y'all.